Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, today I just wanted to hop on here and do a quick little video reviewing um, this bag right here, which is the Willis 18. Um, I believe I had a request for this video, so I thought I would um, do a little review over this bag for that person. Um, and I'm just going to talk about the details of the bag, what fits in here, and what my final thoughts are at the end too. So if you're interested in this review, um, do you stay tuned. And just for full disclosure, I do currently work for Coach as an essay. However, all the bags on my channel are from my own personal collection, and I'm just here to share with you guys my personal love for handbags. Also, if you guys like these kind of videos, um, do consider liking and subscribing because all I do on my channel is just talk about handbags and stuff. So if you like handbags and stuff, um, consider subscribing. And if you guys also want to, you can follow me on Instagram too for more handbag related content. Okay, so when it comes to the Willis 18, as you can see on the front of the bag, it is like a flap style closure bag. So there is a leather flap up here, and then it is connected to this leather piece that holds like the turn lock in place. And then all you have to do to open and close the bag is just undo the turn lock like so. Um, but that is like the main detail for the front. And on the back of the bag, there is a back slip pocket, which goes the entire length of the bag. And there is a little divot in the center of this pocket as well. Um, it is going to be lined in a leather ox blood like so. And um, on top of that pocket, there are these two little D-rings that do um, poke out for the attachment of like the crossbody strap. On the side of the bag, you'll see that it is kind of like a tapered design here. So it has a larger base and it narrows up to the top. And then there is a little D-ring attached onto the side as well. So um, this is where you can hang like bag charms and stuff. And also this is where the hang tag also lies too. And it is like a 1941 hang tag for the older Willis models. So um, this one has like the gold cap and then the horse and carriage on the front. And then the back of this color is going to be ox blood. And on the bottom of the bag, you'll see that it is going to be embossed with genuine glove tan leather and there is no feet with this bag. However, um, the bag itself is kind of like an erased design. So there are these um, like panels here that do stick out a little bit. So it kind of acts like feet for the bag. So you set the bag down, like the actual leather base here doesn't um, touch like the table or floor. So... It's not really feet, but to me, they kind of act like feet. And then what makes like the Willis top handle super unique is like the built-in um, little handle here. So it is a leather top handle that is like kind of padded. And then it is permanently attached via this metal like stick thing or rod um, that goes through the top. And then on the ends here, it says um, coach on each side. And then the other thing too is that the bag does come with a crossbody strap. So I went ahead and attached that on for you guys. Um, so on the back here, um, like I said earlier with this little D-ring, um, you are able to attach on the crossbody strap and just attaches via these like dawn clip closures right here like so. And then it is also adjustable as well. And I believe there are seven adjustments to this bag. So I just have it on the middle setting to use it as a crossbody bag or as a shoulder bag as well. So yeah, and then getting inside the bag is pretty easy. All you have to do is undo the little turn lock like so. And then on the inside of the bag, it is two large compartments. So you have a front section here um, that is like the smaller one. And then you also have a larger internal compartment compartment as well. Um, and then there is a little slip pocket back here with the story patch that is sewn onto that pocket. And I believe the pocket will be lined in like that 1941 linen liner on one side and then leather on the other side. So yeah, super um, simple layout on the inside of this bag. Another detail on this bag too that I forgot to mention is that um, on the inside panel here, it is actually going to be stamped with um, 1941. So you have the little cross stamp in there and then also the um, horse and carriage, not the horse and carriage, um, the cowhide stamp as well. So you'll see the X stamp on top and then the little cowhide stamp underneath um, for this bag because it is a 1941 bag. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys everything I'm able to fit inside of the Willis 18. Okay, so first are my two SLGs. Um, the first one is this little cross green pouch here. Um, I think this is called like the medium skinny a couple years back and I just have cash and change in here. And then next is um, this little card case and this is I think two years ago. Um, it's in a really pretty like pink color and then on top is like a red and then it just says coach on the front. Finally, I just have like all this extra stuff. So I have my chapstick, my charging cable, my keys, um, a bottle of Germex, and a um, charging cable. 
here's a quick look inside of the bag. So I have all of my smaller items in the main compartment like so, and then I just have my card case in the front and I can easily close the bag. And as you can see, there are no like weird warping or like distortions to the bag. And then um, since there is a gusset right here for the slip pocket, um, the, the little like pocket does expand a bit, but it's totally fine. So yeah, there's that. And I forgot to mention about my phone too. So I'm using my phone to film and I'll just like play around with my phone case. Um, I have the iPhone XR and it's just like the smaller model and I have a little pop socket on my phone case as well. And I am able to fit my phone case back here pretty easily. Um, and I usually just have it standing up vertically like so. And just for fun, here's like a quick size comparison between the two um, Willis styles. So this is the regular larger model and then this is the smaller 18 size. Um, so as you can see, it is a pretty significant size difference between these two bags. Um, so if you are someone who needs to carry like a little bit more stuff with you on a daily basis, then I would recommend just like getting the larger model because um, when you go down to like the smaller size, it is like significantly smaller. Um, but here they are next to each other. The Willis 18. I really like this bag. Um, I think for me, the number one thing is just like the fact that it is a miniature bag. Um, I'm that weird person that loves like tiny bags. So when like this came out, I was like obsessed with it, how to get like so many different colors. So I like have a little collection that I'll show you in a second. Um, but that's like the first thing I really like about this bag. And the other thing I like about this bag too is definitely the fact that it's like super versatile. So you have like the built-in top handle um, here that you can use as like a little cute like dressy bag. But it also has like a crossbody strap area too like I showed earlier. So super easy and practical if you just want to like have this bag as a like crossbody bag or shoulder bag. So yeah. Um, and also too, like for how small this bag is, I do feel like it fits a good amount of stuff. Um, you're not going to obviously fit like a ton of things in here, but I feel like, um, for like the layout and stuff, it's a pretty easy and practical bag. And another thing I want to point out too, is that, um, when it comes to like the newer styles of the Willis 18 that they have for like this year, um, it is a little bit different compared to these. So the new ones have a leather piece that goes like around the flap and on the sides, I believe. And I think that's just called like the leather binding. So, um, for example, like on the swinger bag, there is this like little piece of leather right here, um, that goes like around the bag. Well, it is also like on the Willis too, like the newer ones, they'll have that little leather piece, um, around the front and the sides of the bag. And here's just like a quick look at like the Willis 18 bags in my collection. So I have this one here, which is um, in the color flax. And this is the first um, one that I got. And this one also is cute too, because I decided to get it customized. So I have little um, rivets on top and then this reef um, pin right here. And then the second one I got is this one, which is um, the, Heather gray one and I got this one because it has kind of like a slight burnishing effect on it and it also is the like more neutral color option of the Willis 18s so I justified getting this one because I needed a neutral colored um, handbag so I went with this one and then the last one I have is this one here which is um, the Willis 18 they did for um, the summer and it's like in this basket like a material which is kind of cool and it's really pretty because on the inside too it is in a floral print canvas um, so yeah super cute okay so that's it for today's video over um, the Willis 18 um, hopefully, if you requested this video, you found it helpful, and if you still have any questions about the bags um, that I mentioned or, like, anything in general, just leave it um, down in the comments below, and I can try to help you out, or you can message me on Instagram, too, and I can try to help you that way. Um, but other than that, guys, um, hopefully you liked this video enough to like and subscribe, and have a great rest of your day. Bye!